Hey guys, happy Friday. I was uh, reading the Bible uh, this morning and um, uh, something stood out to me. I was reading the book of John. I'll read it to you guys. So one thing stood out to me and then some. I got something else from it too that wasn't really pertaining to what was going on. But it's still, I still took some away from it. So it was when Jesus was about to be charged and put to death by his own people, by the Jews. And they were coming to the Romans, to the Roman general, um, I think it was a general, uh, Pilate. And they were having a conversation. And he was basically trying to help Jesus out and saying, hey, man, these guys are trying to, you know, put you to death, you know. So you're not going to talk to me. So he says, he's like, hey, where are you from? He tells Jesus. But Jesus gave him no answer. So Pilate said to him, you will not speak to me. Do you not know that I have authority to release you and authority to crucify you. So he's basically saying, hey man, like I have the authority to, to help you or to condemn you because these people are trying to try, trying to kill you. So I have the authority o over you. So talk to me, man, let me help you, right? And then Jesus answered him. He said, you would have no authority over me at all unless it had been given to you from above. So he's basically saying like, Hey, man, you wouldn't have any authority if it weren't for God. He's the one that gives you the authority to do anything. And I'm just going to stop there. Like, don't, the other thing that I actually got from that when I was reading it is like, even though it doesn't ha ha have anything to do with this topic, he said, you would have no authority over me at all unless it had been given to you from above. So, in other words, too, and what you could take from that is you, none of us would have, we, we wouldn't be able to do anything. We wouldn't be able to even lift a finger or take a, take a breath, just one breath, if it weren't for, for, for God, because he, he gave you that, he gave you that life. Like, it blows my mind reading that. And also it, it, because, I mean, that's another topic, but it also opened up that realization too when I was reading that, like, we we, don't, we can't do nothing if it weren't for God. We, we, we would have absolutely, no, we couldn't even do a simple, something as simple as taking a breath. Like, like nothing. We would be completely lifeless, you know? So I took, that's that's basically what I took away from that, and it blows my mind. And 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 I, that actually changed my life. That realization is that we would still be lifeless dust if it weren't for God. And the fact that He breathed life into us and gave us everything that we have. People that that are missing limbs and have disabilities are more grateful than so many people in the world, and that blows my mind. You know, it's like. We're given all this, we have so much and we have a lot of people in our life. Some people don't, but there's still things to be grateful for. There's still things that we can, you know, reflect on and be like, man, like I have so much more than, than a lot of people in the world. There's people that are missing limbs and some, some are missing all their limbs and they still are more grateful than people that have all their limbs. The trip. So yeah, I just wanted to share that and reflect. And like anytime I'm I'm like starting to get like big headed or a little prideful or a little like, oh, you know, look at me. Like that, that realization trips me out. I, I start to remember like, who the heck am I? Like, I ain't nothing if it weren't for him. I'm not, I'm not a dang, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm nothing if it weren't for God. You know, so when I start getting big headed, I realize I woke up today. I didn't wake myself up. I'm not self-made or self-sufficient. I didn't, I didn't bring all my organs and all my body function together. No, not at all. I woke up because God woke me up today. God woke you up today out of bed to go to work, wherever you're going. You know what I mean? Like, isn't that, a, isn't that, isn't that a trip? Every single day, 
any day could be our last. And the fact that you woke up today, you didn't wake yourself up. God's given you another day of life for a reason. It could be for you to learn something, to grow in something, or to touch somebody, else, somebody else's life with what you have. Look at your limbs. If you have all your limbs, that's something alone to be grateful for. You know what I mean? And so a lot of people will be like, man, you're being extra, man. You're, you're like so dramatic. It's true. It's true. So yeah, keep that in mind. You know what I mean? Realize that you have so much more than so many other people. And what we're able to do every day, even something as simple as waking up. You know, that's something to be grateful for. To look outside and look at the trees, feel the breeze on your skin. Like, God gave us all this. So what are we going to do with it? You know? You know, and don't ever feel guilty or ashamed of not having that perspective or not having positivity in your mind and always be thinking about the negative. Hey, man, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. We're never, we're not perfect. We're, we can only do so much. And that's why Jesus is, is our savior because he's the one that paid the price that we don't have to. So stay blessed. Keep, keep that in mind. You know, everything that, that you have, everything that you're able to do here, it's from above. Take care.